I'm Dr. Brett Cerniglia, and I'm a diagnostic radiologist with Atlantic Medical Imaging. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about 10 things that, as a radiologist, I can't live without. So the first, as a radiologist, our lifeblood is the dictaphone. You know, going through school, you learn how to write in cursive, you learn how to type on a keyboard, and here I am in my career, and I do neither of those things. Everything, every bit of our notes goes through this dictaphone, through this voice recognition software, helps us be efficient, helps us be accurate, and so it's something we use every day. The second thing I can't live without is a nice gaming mouse. You know, at first glance, it might sound a little strange, a radiologist doing work with a gaming mouse, um, but there are essential functions in a gaming mouse that help our workflow become more efficient. We can put little shortcuts in the little buttons in the mouse and get through our, our studies more efficiently and accurately. The next thing I can't live without is a nice chair. Um, ergonomics are super important in radiology. You're sitting in that chair for a ton of hours throughout the day, day after day. So having something that's adjustable that can help keep you comfortable doing your work is gonna help you um, have more longevity in your career. The fourth thing I can't live without in the same vein is an adjustable desk. You can move a chair up and down as much as you want, but you need that desk to move with you. And it's the same idea. It's just staying comfortable throughout the day while you're working. The fifth thing I can't live without in the same theme of ergonomics is an adjustable light source. So one thing many people might not know is there's actually an optimal luminosity of the room that you're reading images in. So being able to adjust that light source to get to that perfect um, dimness to read a study accurately is really important. The sixth thing I can't live without is having a solid anatomy resource. Um, whether it's a textbook or a good online resource, it's something you're gonna use all the time. You know, throughout our training, we become experts in anatomy, but inevitably a pathology is gonna involve some obscure piece of anatomy that you may not recall from your training. So it's important to just go back, be able to quickly double check and uh, more accurately describe a pathology and the different planes it may be involving. The seventh thing I can't live without is coffee. You know, staying focused throughout the day can be a chore. You're sitting in a dark room for a lot of hours. So you wanna be alert and focused and working at your best potential throughout the day. The eighth thing I can't live without as a radiologist is an exercise break. So you're sitting in a chair for hours and hours and it's essential that you get up every so often throughout the day and just take a walk around get the blood flowing, get moving, regroup, and go back at it. The ninth thing I can't live without is my cell phone. It may sound funny at first, but having that right there at your fingertips so you can give a local clinician a call if there's an urgent finding, or shoot text back and forth with one another to have an active flow of communication with the referring providers in the region is super helpful, and it helps give patients a quicker, faster diagnosis and gets them rolling into their treatment plan faster. And finally, the tenth thing I can't live without is my family. Having that good support system outside of work to give you that work-life balance and support you throughout your career is essential to have a long and happy career. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned a little bit about me and the ten things that I, as a radiologist, can't live without.